there's nothing quite so annoying as when you're watching a video and the sound is not in sync with the person speaking. Well, let me fix that. There. That's so much better. Now my lips are moving at the same speed as my speech. But how do I do that? And where does the problem come from? Well, the situation I've got at the moment is I'm recording with a camera. It's got its own built-in microphone, but it doesn't record very good sound. So I use a separate microphone. And it's connected to my computer. I have a camera. It could be this camera. Um, of course, it's not this camera because I'm holding this camera and I've got a different camera up there. But the situation is the same. You've got a camera. It doesn't record great audio. You've got a better microphone. You're recording the audio to your computer. Now you end up with two separate tracks. One from the camera contains video and not very good audio. The other on your computer contains the audio and you want to put them together. So what's the secret? The real magic happens all in the video editor. Here I'm using Cyberlink PowerDirector but the same goes for whatever video editor you're using. You can see I've got two tracks at the top. I've got the video and underneath the video, docked just beneath it, is the audio that was recorded by my camera. That's the audio I don't want to use. It's not very good quality. And then I've imported the audio that I recorded separately. I happen to record it from my Blue Yeti microphone direct to my computer using free audio recording software, Audacity. But again, you can use other audio recording software. So now I want to substitute the audio, the poor quality audio, for the better quality audio. Now, at the moment, when I play them together, they're not synchronized. Well, let me fix that. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, much so much better. You can hear there's sort of an echo because one audio track is out of sync with the other. What I need to do is I need to line up the waveforms. I need to look at the patterns caused by the audio and get them to match. So I'm going to expand. I'm going to zoom in so that I can see at some high level of detail the patterns. Now, down here, you remember that I clapped and that gives me a nice peak in the audio so that I can try and match up the peak so that one is beneath the other. Mm, is that good enough? Let's try it. Not quite. Let me just zoom in again. Adjust it a bit more. That looks pretty good. That's so much better. Okay, so now I've got rid of the echo effect because the two audio tracks are matched. What I need to do now is to disable the audio track I don't want to use. That's this one up here that was recorded by the camera. In uh, in PowerDirector, I'm just going to mute it by unchecking this. And now my lips. Moving. Now I only get the audio track that's recorded separately. One more thing I'm going to do, when I edit or move these two tracks, that's the audio track and the video track, I want them to remain in sync. So I'm going to do that by selecting them both, right-clicking, and now I select Group Objects. Again, you should have some similar feature in whatever uh, video editing software you're using. And now if I move one track, the other track will move in sync. And if I do edits, they will remain together. So that's how I've put together one separately recorded audio track with my original video track and synced the sound. For more information and tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our channel. 